Okay, so I finally got this working. Uh, let's give it a go. Uh, now, one of the big things about this game is apparently it uses satellite data so that um, maybe your flight one will be better. So we're going to take a helicopter, fly to Norwich Airport, which I don't know if it has a helipad, and see if we can find a flat. Uh, 20 aircrafts. Oh, 20 planes. No, I want uh, helicopters. Okay, I don't know if it says full. No. Well, how do you get to the helicopters? You're telling me there is only 20 aircraft. And they're all planes. Oh, that's a step back from the old days. Okay, um. Oh. That one was already selected, I guess... Is that default? I did manage to get into the menu once before and clicked on something, uh, but I think that's a good point. I can't get back to the... Oh. Sorry, my cat knocking my mouse. Cheers for that, Noodles. Back down to the aircraft. No, I don't know if I would make that choice. <laughs> oh, God, this is awful with the user interface. Uh, I can't get. Alright, click. There we go. My cat's like, uh, who are you talking to? Give me fuss. That's probably as close to a helicopter as we're going to get. Okay, open filters. Uh, uh, I commended airports. Uh, I do hate it when they use a. They make a game for console. They make sure it works on PC as well, and you still have to go and get your keyboard to be able to type anything. So you've got on-screen keyboard to use it. There we go. No, it's Norwich. No, that's not right. Norwich ain't in America. <laughs> well. Obviously there is a noise in America. I just didn't know there was a noise in America. Uh, can we not do that? Ah, hey, there we go. That's better. I don't want to fly from the house of the apartment. I don't think they have a runway. I remember playing the original flight simulator, or one of the original flight simulators, multiplayer, whatever the first multiplayer flight simulator was, and my mate being really pissed off with me because uh, I got bored during our flight from Gatwick to France. Uh, so I set an updraft because the, the, the weather was all um, local system. So I had an updraft of air coming up, gale force winds going towards. Um, towards France, chose the lightest aircraft I could, so I some sort of helicopter, there were so many aircraft, there wasn't just 20 of them, there was a whole ton of them, and um, just let go of the controls, sat there reading the book, and my mate sort of looked across and said, what are you doing? Wait, you're overtaking me. <laughs> just, the updraft is keeping my aircraft up in the air, the gale force wind is pushing me towards France. Uh, he, he quit. <laughs> told me I didn't deserve to play the game. Apparently this is the type of game you're supposed to take really seriously. 
the accurate, accurate satellite data. This is going to be this is going to be cool. Norwich is of course my hometown, home city. Yeah, I'm ready to fly. Okay, how do I fly? Alright, disengage parking Y and B. Okay. Next. Next tip, please. Come on, game. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Oh, increase. To increase engine power, press and hold increase throttle. Well, what's increase throttle? <laughs> I'm going to guess it's right trigger. Uh, let me guess it wrong. Oh, that did something. There we go, there we go, there we go! Ah, there's throttle, there's brake. <laughs> Actually, I think this might be rudder. To increase the engine power gradually, press and hold the increased throttle button. Uh, what's the increased throttle button? Let's take like controls. Oh! Really helpful! <laughs> I'm using an official Xbox control pad. This is on Xbox Game Pass. I mean, just assume you know, it would be set up for the Xbox control pad. Especially since this is on the Xbox. <laughs> um, uh, let's have a look at settings. Can we see this? Oh. Ooh, lots of funky stuff. Um, Weather, travel to, objectives, nav log, fuel, AI control. Uh, kind of cheating if I take off with. Um, yeah, here's the AI. Let's grab the keyboard again. Oh, bloody hell. Glad I got that USB extension cable. Controls. Controller is default. Yeah, no, it even has a picture of my Xbox control pad, although it's one colour. <laughs> okay, uh, makes flight controls. Primary flight controls? Okay, I was right, that is rudder. Okay, uh, that doesn't help. Oh, no, I wouldn't be able to power management. Uh, brakes. The wire is your handbrake, so you can do handbrake turns. I know, I know, you need air brakes for handbrake turns. Uh, landing gear, left stick. <laughs> what happens if you raise your landing gear while you're in the air? Uh, while you're in the ground, so. Uh, X change like a... Uh, maybe it's under power mode. Ah, throttle! Bingo! Increase throttle. A. Okay. I, I figured the throttle would be an analogue thing. Not a one in zero. Okay. Uh, oh. Right, let's so put the keyboard to one side. There we go. Now we're moving. Let's start off with a nice simple thing and see a fly by of noise. Noise castle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a fighter! <laughs> Come on, up, 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 up! You can do it, you can do it! Fly, my pretty, fly! Now I want to fly low, but maybe not necessarily this low. I don't know the airport area much, so I don't tend to go there much. But to be honest, uh, I'm, being, I'm seeing this with the aerial view, which is not something I'm too familiar with. I can't think what these buildings 
recognising some of this. There's three tower blocks, I'm assuming that's... no. There's only one area nice, it's got three tower blocks like that. And stuff around the floor does not look right for that. That would be my gloss. No. Okay, that can't be my cross. Copy Icon X-Ray Golf Sierra. Oh, I like the air traffic control. Uh, that would be the university, I'm guessing. I'm just going to say it's fairly easy to fly, but if I say that, I'm going to crash. <laughs> this is your pilot speaking. Oh, this is your pilot shouting! Looking for the familiar sign of Noise City Castle at the moment. Not seeing it. None of this looks particularly familiar. Well, that'll be the river. That'll be the train station. Okay, now I know where we are. There's the nice City Football Club. Let's follow my nose. Wait, is that a lot of houses on it? What? Okay, someone's flattened the railway station and built a lot of houses on the track. I think that's a lot of houses, that's supposed to be a lot of trains. That's, <laughs> that's a little weird. Let's kind of look at the castle. saw the castle and it was just like, no, 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 no. Uh, poor aircraft had a heart attack. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know what to say, to be honest. Okay, okay, right, right. I kind of thought when I first read about the using satellite data to make the absolutely accurate and everything, First time I read that, I thought, no, people keep saying things like that, and it, it can't be true. But I thought, 
this is Microsoft, they've got a lot of money. And it's it was being touted as quite an important feature of the realism of the game. So, maybe, maybe. And I figure well, I'll fly over my flat and see what it looks like. And Norwich Tower Icon honest, Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready for departing straight out at runway 27. Well, that drives me. That, that seems a bit optimistic of uh, my present ability to fly. But I wasn't really expecting my flat to be too exact. I was expecting it to look a bit weird. I was not expecting Norwich City Castle, the landmark, the main landmark of Norwich City. Which is uh, it's the capital of Norfolk, it's one of the biggest, well, it's the biggest city I know. Um, it has an international airport on it, for God's sake. I was not expecting the, the, the castle to look that bad. How did they make it look so bad? That has to be a glitch, right? That's got to be a glitch, it's got to be. Oh, look how smooth we're flying now. Oh yeah. Just flying over the fictional town of Norwich. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> inaccurate by any stretch of the imagination. I guess they didn't think people would be uh, looking at their sounds to see how inaccurate it is. But as a city, it, it looks quite good. If I wasn't specifically looking for um, you know, specific details, then this would look alright. And I can't wait to play this properly in VR, but um, I can't believe it's delayed VR then. But, um, it's a slow, slow fly over Norwich. Tap on the old throttle. Now, this is what you want the pilot to be doing. Not looking where he's flying, just staring out the window. <laughs> Lots of very, very flat buildings. I'm guessing it, it's generating a satellite map and. Uh, Impressive how well they got the castle, but I'm hoping that's just a glitch. Icon X-ray Golf Sierra, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Controls aren't too bad once you get used to them. <laughs> Says the guy that stressed out the aircraft so much it blew up. Although it's rather depressing, you don't actually see the crash. <laughs> That sounds really bad when you say it out loud, but you know what I mean, playing a video game, you, you kind of want to see the crash when it crashes. But, um, I guess in this day and age, that's politically incorrect. Maybe a second in some way. Uh, what's the gl glimpse? That is what. The developers of this game. Norwich approach icon Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra is type icon A54 miles south of Norwich. Request flight following. So bad. That is so bad. Icon Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Norwich approach. Squawk 1076. They're flattened St. Charles Forty Story car park as well. Oh no, that's St. Andrews. Sorry. They're flattened St. Andrews Golf Sierra car park. 
can't even see St. Charles, it should be over there somewhere. That, that office building, the uh, great one, that is St. Charles Point Street Car Park. That's not an office building. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Been a car park for a long time. Oh, it's Hippodrome before that, of course. if we can land back in knowledge. I assume you have to ask permission and everything, but uh, I don't know how. Uh, I, I saw an air traffic control thing on top of it. I don't know how you get this many on the uh, control pad. Appears to be a record of the conversations. Yeah. Kind of cool that if you wanted to, you could um, use AI control to fly from one airport to the other if you just want to experience the scenery. That would be very cool in VR. Even cooler if I had more than 20 aircraft. Now, I can't help thinking I might be. Oh no, no, I see the wrong way. I mean, I see the wrong way, I don't quite know how to line up for it. I think I'm going to land in the field between the wrong way. Too impressed. <laughs> I can't believe there's only 20 aircraft. I wonder if there's got three ones that you can download. Twelve quid for an airport. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's a good for aircraft! That's got to be a set of aircraft. That can't just be one plane. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, hopefully modders will come out with uh, tons of free aircraft, so it's going to be the old ones. But, yeah. Uh... It's not bad. I can see me enjoying it quite a bit once uh, the VR update hits. But um, yeah, I want to say, did you use satellite data to make it make it sound real? No, that that was not done. No, I need to do Master Castle up, which is just unforgivable. Uh, yeah, Google Nine City Castle. If you watch this video, Google Nine City Castle and look what the castle actually looks like and compare it to what you just that god awful tragedy that you just saw. And then look at St. Charles Water Story Car Park. It ain't an office building. People in offices complain when you try and park your car in their office. <laughs> Alright. First video in a long time. That's been fun. Bye for now. <laughs>